Hi there. Welcome back to the channel. So, it turns out that 9 of 5 jobs suck. Wow, who would have known, right? <laughs> yeah, so 9 of 5 jobs suck. And as someone who's been doing 9 of 5 jobs ever since I was 17, I can approve that message. And today we are going to listen to some people who still have 9 of 5 jobs or who did 9 of 5 jobs and they will tell us why they think or so. 9 of 5 jobs suck. And I know that every guru out there who is trying to sell you a course or a book, their pitch is always, hey, 9 of 5 jobs suck. If you are doing 9 to 5 job, even if you are happy and whatever, you just don't know yet that 9 to 5 job is sucking your soul and your energy and whatever. If you could just buy my book or buy my course, I could teach you how to be your own business and make millions overnight. That's not the type of people we are going to listen to. We are going to listen to like normal, regular people who still have their 9 to 5 jobs. So let's listen and see you soon. This is probably so stupid because this is adulthood, but I just need to know if this is a universal experience because I understand the whole nine to five brain. Like you work a nine to five, Monday through Friday, you do the same thing, you kind of get in a funk where your life kind of feels repetitive. And then, you know, you throw a wrench in it and you spice things up and you feel different about it, whatever. Backstory. Let's backtrack a couple years. 15 to 18, life meant nothing to me. I had a blast. I worked two, one, two days maybe a week at a grocery store making $100 a week. I would spend it on like clothes and food and like it'd be whatever. Like really I was working for no reason because I had no bills to pay. I would hang out with friends. I was going to high school. I was dating my high school sweetheart. Like it was all great, whatever. Fast track, I'm 21 now. And I didn't feel like this four months ago. So which I understand why, because I have factors that make me feel that way. Let me explain. Because four months ago, I was living with my boyfriend. He worked full time. He took care of the household. What a man. Love him. Um, I worked two days a week. Um, and it was really for fun money. I had just had my daughter. I really only worked to keep my brain busy because I was kind of going crazy staying at home with my daughter. Um, and then he died. And, like, we kept each other pretty engaged. We'd go on dates, uh, we'd go to the movies, we'd go get dinner, we'd go bowling, we'd party sometimes. Like, you know, we always kept it fun. And then he died. So now I have to work full time, which don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with working full time. If anything, it helps me more than anything else has in the grieving process and keeping myself busy. So like, I don't mind working, that's not the problem. The problem is that Monday, I get up in the morning, I go to work, I do whatever I'm doing at work, I go to my mom's, I pick up my daughter, I come home, I give her a bath, I give her dinner, we hang out for a couple of minutes, more like a lot longer than a couple of minutes, you know what I mean? And then I, you know, sometimes I eat dinner, sometimes, and then I go to bed, and then the next day, same thing. Monday through Friday, the same exact thing, the same routine, nothing changes. The only thing that's different is the fact that I'm making this TikTok. And then the weekend, gone in two seconds. Monday, same thing. Am I supposed to do this for the next 80 years? Because if so, there should have been a label on the box. I don't know. Somebody take my shift. Like, I tap out. I give up. I'm going mental. I, I can't do this for the next 80 years. Like, I, I don't know how people do this. I don't understand. And this is probably such shallow thinking because I know that people out there do this all the time and it's normal but this is so mind-numbingly painfully repetitive like i need a change but i don't know what it is because i have no choice but to work and it's not the work it's just the routine and i don't know how to get out of it i'm going insane i cannot believe working a nine to five is real life the the task that i was just asked to do i don't even want to explain it because i'm embarrassed to say that this is what i do for a living but i'm going to tell you for a laugh you know the abbreviated like months like oct i'm having to write out october and make that standard across a lot of fucking verbiage like wow this is how we're supposed to be successful in life by working for someone else's success first of all and then doing stupid ass tasks that make me feel like a literal piece of shit because how am i having an impact in the world no one knows that i'm doing this i'm sitting behind my computer Peter typing and doing absolutely nothing to help others. The problem with nine to five jobs isn't the job itself. It's everything that comes with it. You may only work 40 hours a week, but you sacrifice way more than that. 
First of all, half of your waking hours are either spent preparing to work or commuting to and from work. When it comes time to enjoy the other four hours you have every workday, you're kind of too tired to do anything that you really like to do, so you settle for something else like sitting on the couch and watching Netflix. In my opinion, this isn't a good lifestyle. This is just modern day slavery. I don't see how you can describe it any other way considering everyone is robbed of their time when they're even not actually clocked in and they're only paid pennies for it. For the life of me, I can't understand why people are okay with this. And by okay, I don't mean that people aren't complaining. Yeah, people are complaining about it. What I'm saying is no one's doing more than that. No one's saying, you know what? Screw this. I'm not doing this anymore. I'm going to do something else. Like this isn't 1970 anymore. The cost to start a business is virtually nothing. You don't have to be restricted to these stupid systems and these stupid ideas that don't make sense anymore. I'm going to complain a little bit today. Just, just let me complain and then I'll get over it. I still cannot process that if you work a 9 to 5 or an 8 to 5 in my case, you're expected to work until you're like 70. It's not just about working 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. It is about the lifestyle that comes with it. If I want to get a workout in before starting my work day, I have to wake up at 5 a.m. I'm at the gym, 5.30 to 6.30. I have to come home, shower, get ready, eat some breakfast because I am not going to stop taking care of myself for a job. And I'm not talking about grabbing an apple and calling it a day. I am going to eat a well-balanced breakfast. Then you have to take into consideration consideration lunchtime. You have to pack yourself a lunch if you don't want to spend like $20 a day on a lunch. Finally get to the office 8 a.m. 8 a.m. till 5 p.m. You're stuck at a desk. Take into consideration commute time. Luckily for me, I am very blessed with an amazing commute time. And then take into consideration that a lot of people have side jobs. I'm a personal trainer, so I train a client from 5.30 p.m. until 6.45 p.m. every single day. 6.45, 7 p.m. you have to start making dinner. Then you eat. Then you have to clean the kitchen. By the time you're done, it's 8.30 p.m. And if you want to get a decent amount of sleep in order to wake up at 5 a.m. again, you have to be in bed by 9 p.m. So you're telling me out of your whole day, you only get 30 minutes to yourself to either do skincare, recheck your fucking phone. It's not that I'm lazy, okay? I've had three jobs at once. It's the fact that the older I get, the more time I want to invest in myself and not on anyone else's business. This morning, it just really hit me. I really have to do this for the next 40 years. I'm not because I'm working on my own things because I don't want this for myself for the next 40 years. I just think the system is all sorts of messed up. This might just be a me issue, but I've realized that college does not prepare you for the mental endurance of working at nine to five. I haven't even started my corporate job yet, but I'm about to go into my retail job and I have a seven hour shift today and I'm already freaking out. And I'm like, how the hell am I gonna survive an eight hour, nine hour work day? And not only that, but you have to do that five times a week. Like what? Child, I could barely get through a two hour lecture, let alone a 40 hour work week. Mm -mm, no ma'am. I'm so sick of this job and let me tell y'all why. It seems like every day I come in this bitch and it's a new rule or a new issue with something I'm doing. And you might be like, why you got that napkin tucked in your shirt? It's cause I'm eating lunch in my car. You wanna know why I'm eating lunch in my car? Instead of at my desk, in my fucking office? Cause the district manager comes in today, like he always does, he knocks on my door. Cause my door is always closed. It's cold as fuck in there. I keep the heat on. Everybody complain about my heat being on. So I keep my door closed, cool. He knocks on my door, he comes in, he's like, yeah, see that door is closed. And I'm like, yeah, it's always closed. Like he said it every time he come here, it's, it's always closed. And he's like, well, I just need you to leave the door open because we have an open door policy, blah, blah, blah. So I said open door policy typically refers to higher ups and managers letting you know that their door is always open, you can come in and talk to them. I'm not a higher up, I'm not a manager. My door doesn't need to be open 24 seven. If somebody needs to talk to me, they can come in and talk to me. They don't knock on my door no way, they just bust that bitch in when they need to come in there. And he like, well, it just sends the wrong message. It just seems like you're not a part of the team. That's not very welcoming. I said, I talk to my coworkers every single day. You know I talk to my coworkers every single day. And they know I talk to them every single day. And they know that if they need something, they can come in here. And he's like, well, it just doesn't give that. It needs to give the illusion that blah, blah, blah. I'm not hearing that. I'm really not. I just don't understand why my door being closed affects y'all so fucking much. It's not hindering nobody from doing their job. It ain't preventing you from getting in touch with me whenever you need to. And it's not affecting my work performance. So why is it such an issue? Why is it mandatory for me to have my fucking door open? And he's like, well, what if it makes somebody else feel like they can't approach you or they're uncomfortable because they won't feel like they're bothering you, blah, blah, blah. If they felt uncomfortable or like they were bothering me, they would not bust in that bitch 24 seven without knocking. And they wouldn't say half the shit they say. And then he's like, well, we're just gonna work on keeping it open for now. Like, how, how do we feel about that? How's that? I feel like I don't have a fucking choice. That's what I feel like. I don't understand why it's so hard to mind your business and leave me the fuck alone. 
I really don't understand. Motherfuckers be at this job doing everything on God's green earth. But me closing my fucking office door is where you draw the line, bitch. How am I expected to work a nine to five every single day when I have not done eight hours of anything in the last four years? I did not to go to five days of class throughout any semester of college. I always had at least one day completely off. And most of the time, I only had classes on Tuesday, Thursday. Yes, I did that on purpose. So I'm used to going to about an hour and a half of class on Tuesday, Thursdays. And that is all. The rest of the time was up to me. And now I'm expected to go to the same building every day, Monday through Friday, for eight hours, sometimes more. That is 40 hours of my life every week, if you were wondering. Usually about 45. And it takes 30 minutes to get there and 30 minutes to get back, so add that on there as well. My life consisted of doing whatever I wanted to for four years all the time every day was the weekend you could do whatever you wanted homework was always weighing on your shoulders which i'm glad i don't have that anymore but how am i expected to just jump right into that and it's about to be summer and this is going to be my first summer ever having a full-time job and i literally don't know how i'm going to do it i don't know how that's going to go people are going to be out on the lake people are going to meet my mom and sister are both teachers so they're going to be out and I'm going to be in the same building when it's pretty outside. When the UV index is above a literal seven, I'm going to be at work. Dagger to the heart. And I know I'm literally 23 and like most people have been doing this their whole lives and stuff. But like, woo! I'm not built for that. I'm not built for that. I'm not. No matter how much I love my job, I'm simply not built to do the same thing every single day. All day. Nope. Another thing about it is that if I woke up one day. I didn't want to go to class. I didn't have to. I would just skip. And I did that a lot frequently, even though I literally only had two days of class a week. I didn't go most of the time. Do I regret it? Absolutely not. Um, my only regret is that I didn't skip more. But if you wake up and you don't want to go to your job, too bad. You'll get fired if you don't go. <laughs> like, just having a hard time with this transition um love my job do not get that wrong don't get it twisted but i just literally a <laughs> little bit different a little bit of a different vibe going on here i don't know if i was ready for it a couple things that i don't understand about working in corporate america there are times where you are creating more work for yourself by asking me to do something on behalf of you. And I understand that I'm in a different role from different people that we're not always on the same playing field but like let's think smarter and work not as hard just to get someone to do a task for you for example why are you sending me an email asking me to save download and save a file to a shared folder that we both have access to you are sending me the file to save it in the folder which means you already have access to the file wouldn't it take you less time to just download it right to that folder instead of putting it in an email typing to me asking me to save it in this folder and then waiting for me to do it wouldn't that take much less time also when someone emails me asking me to send someone else an email asking them this, you are quite literally writing in the email to me what you want me to ask them. And you are adding more words because you are asking me to do it for you. When this whole time you could have started an email to that person yourself and wrote what you wanted to say, wrote what you wrote me in the email to them and CC'd me if you wanted me to be a part of it. I don't understand and everyone will understand, but hey, whatever pays the bills, right? How do people go into the office every day like as a work from home girly when I actually go on site this is how I end up literally not able to move guys that are in the office every day that journey home that journey home was so long like that gave me enough anxiety to never want to leave my house for a year if I ever change jobs number one request it was to work from home I need the options you can't tell me what to do you can't tell me come in because i'm not gonna do it this is gonna be me every day like i'm gonna be suffering oh my god guys i'm so tired i'm trying shit that's how tired i am as well round about this so they sent out an email my company's american but we have like branches everywhere whatever american people sent out an email saying now it's compulsory that you come into the office two days a week shut the fuck up just because you said that I'm quitting i'm not gonna quit but like not gonna go in what do you mean you're it, shut up you americans can shut up because none of us uk folk 
are going to do it. As soon as it hits January and it gets dark at 3 p.m., not one person will be in that office. Mark my words. So, yeah, you heard the stories. Before I do tell you what I think, can you please let us know what you think in the comment section? I wonder what's your opinion on this. Do you also think everyone should quit their 9 to 5 jobs and be their own bosses? Write it in the comment section. Honestly, yes, I may not believe that 9 to 5 jobs are the ideal jobs that everyone should have, right? Some 9 to 5 jobs really suck. But also, I believe that our jobs seem to be bad depending on our attitude to it. I've been doing 9 to 5 jobs since I was 17. And ever since I know myself, I've been reading or listening to be your own boss type of, you know, content, right? Listening to that always made me feel like, okay, you know what? I should be my own boss, you know? I I'm losing my time. But because of that attitude I had, I always felt like my jobs were just killing me inside like i never liked my jobs i was just doing them with the incentive of you know i'm getting money out of it i need money i'm getting money that's all sometimes when i look back in retrospective and i you know look back at the jobs that i had they weren't really that bad i just had a bad attitude to them they were fine maybe they were not the best yeah but <laughs> they were still okay jobs also i don't think that everyone should be an entrepreneur First, some of the people wouldn't handle the stress that comes with it, at least in the initial phase of the process of becoming your own boss. Second, you know, some people don't even have the skills to be entrepreneur. And third, if everyone became their own boss, we wouldn't have employees, right? We still need people to do 9 to 5 jobs. It is still okay to do 9 to 5 jobs. There are people who are happy in their jobs, 9 to 5 jobs, and that's fine. Some people prefer maybe that uh, consistent paycheck that comes with 9 to 5 jobs or the other perks like, uh, I don't know, pension, um, I don't know, insurance, stuff like that. Yeah, I know that I advocate for like, being your own boss, creating multiple sources of income and all that. That's something I always say to my followers. But we sometimes got to be realistic. Not everything is cut for everyone, right? There are people who will do best in R5 jobs and they will do worst in their own businesses. And there are people whose mind is, you know, business type of mind. And they will perform well if they do business than if they work in a nine five job. If you are able to start your own business, you have resources, you have skills, just go for it. Yeah, don't be stuck with nine five. But if you don't, it's okay to have that job that you do have now. So <laughs> I know I've been yapping for long, but yeah, I just wanted to share with you what my opinion to all this is. And I would love to see what you guys think about the topic. So let's meet in the comment section and talk about this as always. Thank you very much for watching this video up to here. I really appreciate all the support that you guys do to the channel. And I will see you in my next video. So, see you.